We came to California during a summer vacation in high school. And we hitchhiked up and down the coast to some extent. We were sleeping on the sand of Laguna Beach until we were told the police were arresting everyone. So we were living a very simple life. Seeking, seeking. We went to the Bahamas once. We went to high school together, college together. Then one day, I was in New York City, and Gary called me on the phone and said, I have something I have to talk to you about. Come immediately to Cherry Hill, New Jersey. So, I was a hitchhiker in those days. By the way, I hitchhiked here, but there's different ways of hitchhiking. <laughs> this time, these days I hitchhike by borrowing somebody's car, <laughs> driving myself. <laughs> but in those days, we went like this. Whoever picked us up, we were at their mercy. So I went to Cherry Hill, and Gary said, Frank and myself are going to Europe for a summer vacation. You must come. He said, I have no money, and I have a job this summer in northern Illinois. I have to work and then go back to college. And Gary said, well, I don't have any money either. But Frank is sponsoring both of us, because he wants to go so bad that he's willing to sponsor both of us. I was convinced that God wanted me to go <laughs> to Europe that summer. So we took, a, I think it was $65, yes? Something like Icelandic Airlines. Mm -hmm. Went to Iceland and then onward to Luxembourg. And Frank was going to sponsor us, but it wasn't going to be very luxurious because our first night in Luxembourg. <laughs> and we woke up in the morning, it was at a camping ground, and Frank came out of the tent so angry and despondent as a Swami, I cannot repeat the words he was shouting, but they were coming from his heart. <laughs> I said, what's wrong? He said, I've been robbed. All the money is gone. We have to all go back. We have our tickets back to New York. We should go back. He slung his backpack over his shoulder and said, come on. Gary and I just stood there looking at each other. And he turned back and he said, Frank, we'll see you sometime later. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember I sat on the bank of this little creek and looked at the water. And I saw how the current was flowing according to a very natural course. And I remember thinking that I'm completely free, like this water. I'm just going to flow according to destiny and God's will. I can't make any plans for myself, because I don't know anybody except Gary. And I had no money. We had little, little, very small. 